So I want to begin by recognizing in our presence my colleague ministers, Senator Adrian Thomas, former Minister for Our Culture, who's been the, the architect of our activity here this morning. Thank you, Brother Adrian. Our colleague, Gloria Thomas, our new Minister for Social Development and Housing. Uh, Minister Kirin James, Minister for the Environment and Climate Change. Uh, Minister Jonathan Laquette, Minister for Youth and Sport. I also recognize Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Agriculture, Mr. Bagwan, and the PS for the Ministry of Climate Change is also with us. Senators Rahman and St. Clair, Clerk of Parliament is present with us. And I also want to uh, recognize a few friends who came from abroad uh, to be with us here this morning. So we have a team from Azerbaijan, and they are here with us this morning. We have Mr. Nick Bernal, fly, flew all the way from Miami to be with us. And indeed, we have Dr. Stacy Richard Kennedy. Doc, please stand. You're so welcome here in Grenada. <laughs> She's the regional manager for the Caribbean Latin American Development Bank. And she's joined by her colleague, Javier. Thanks for being here with us. It is indeed an honor and pleasure to join with my PS and to welcome you to this National Agricultural Investment Symposium, Agrivest 2024, which is now being held in the midst of our official celebration of our 50th anniversary of independence. My friends, there are many issues confronting our country that need immediate attention and need a concerted effort and a conscious effort to solve them. Being small and open and vulnerable, as we all know, we are open to external shocks that can impact negatively on our economy and can create some serious macroeconomic imbalances. I am of the view that if we manage our economy well, and if we design plans and projects and programs and implement them, we can in fact reduce the negative impact those external shocks can have on our economy. But of course, as we all know, to do this, we must identify the sectors the sectors that we consider to be important, that can help transform our economy, raise our living standards, increase our income, increase our gross domestic product, our GDP, and provide a better life for our people. I am of the firm view that agriculture is one such industry. And I refer to agriculture industry. I don't like to call it as a sector. I say it's an industry. And if we manage that industry properly, then we can produce the goods uh, that we need to consume. But we could also produce the goods for export, to earn foreign exchange, so that we can pay for those goods and services that we don't produce what we consume. And for me, that's the concept of economic development. Being able to pay for what you consume, but that which you don't produce. But I share the view that for agriculture to work, two things must happen. The first is that our farmers must have a ready market for the product. 
And the second, and very importantly, is that our cultural prices must be sticky upwards, as we say in economics. They must be high. And if we have those two things in place, then certainly I do believe that we can transform our sector and we can build our economy. But I also believe, my friends, that if we manage our culture properly, if we invest in the right sectors, if we identify those institutions and individuals who are committed, having understood and seen the value of the sector, of the industry, then I do believe that we can move towards eradicating poverty in our country and providing the conditions that can make Grenada proud. I share the view that as a nation and as a people, for us to be proud, we must have industry. Our pride lies in our industry. If we have no industry, we have nothing to speak about. We have nothing to boast about. And therefore, we have no pride. So therefore, for us to be a proud nation, we must have industry. And I do believe that our industry, our pride lies precisely in the development of our, our agriculture industry. And for this reason, we are having this symposium here today. I want to say to you that there is a simple theory. In fact, there's an easy question, a simple question I ask myself every day. Why it is that diamonds, diamonds which is not necessary for our livelihood is so expensive. But water, which is indispensable for our living, is so much cheaper. And in my view, the answer is simple. Diamond is scarce, but water is found everywhere. And therefore, if we have to solve our problems of shortages, of supply break, of high prices, what we have to do is produce. We have to produce. Produce and produce more. Because when we produce more, we can supply more. If we supply more, then prices can fall. If prices fall, then consumers can buy more. And given the elastic nature of our cultural products, the seller will earn more revenue. And therefore, everybody benefits, and the society benefits. And that's the basic economic thinking. I may say, that should define our approach in helping to build the agriculture sector. It is only through increased production that we can, in fact, solve the problem of predial larceny. When things are present everywhere, there is no need to thief it. There is no need to thief because it is present everywhere. So the solution, my dear ones, to our problem lies precisely in our production. And our production brings with it the development of our industry. Once we have industry, we have pride and we can boost about what we can do and feel good about ourselves. I had the opportunity to visit a number of farmers. And I really and truly was amazed of the quality of products that come from 
our farmers. I went by a farmer named Buenos in the back of paradise. Buenos produced one big grain a pumpkin, big soup. And I said to Buenos, what Buenos? You should be on television. You should be on the TV. Letting our people know that as a farmer, this is what you have produced. And you should feel good about yourself. But the Rasta man, you know, you know what they think already. Rasta, Rasta do a time for that. <laughs> but these are the kind of things, my friends, that we have to promote if we are to develop our sector and to see the value and the importance of our sector in our lives and what it can do to transform our lives and give our people a higher living standard. And therefore, as we assemble here this morning, I know we have put together many of the major players in the agricultural sector. We have the financiers, we have the think tankers, we have the farmers, we have the whole of the Ministry of Agriculture. We have our internet, international friends to also help us. And I do hope, therefore, from this symposium will emerge some of the best ideas, ideas that are realistic, ideas that are pragmatic, ideas that can be easily implemented and ideas that will help to transform and develop this noble but meaningful industry that we all call agriculture. So I want to thank you all for coming. I want you all to feel free. Feel free. Say what you have to say. Every word is important. Every thought is important. Every idea is important. Because whether or not we survive in this century and in the century to come, as John Maynard Keene says, will depend on our ideas. Thank you very much, Andrews.